Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Battle of the Bangers Season 5. I'm your host, my name is Tyler, and, of course, I am joined by the boys. We have Brennan. What's going on, folks? And we have Kyle. Hello. So, uh, if you're just tuning in, go back and rewatch Episode 1 of Season 5. Give us those views, but... Uh, in case you're confused what we're doing, we are doing the Battle Royale of all of the Robot with Human Hair songs, minus the the Vietnam one, because it couldn't fit all nine in. Oh, well. But anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, we, we'll load up the bracket here so you can see what we're working with. Um, I, I forgot to mention this in the last one, but these are seeded based on uh, number of listens on Spotify. If that was not obvious. So today... We have the matchup between, in my opinion, what are two of the best Robot with Human Hair songs ever. Uh, Death of the Robot with Human Hair and the Robot with Human Hair Part 2 and a half. Um, this might be the closest first round that we're going to have. Um, in my eyes, this could have been the final. Like, if I was just making this list, like, objectively, or subjectively, I should say, I, I think these two are, like, the best of the best. But unfortunately, the seeding has given us this matchup in the first round. It kind of sucks. But I don't know. Where do you guys want to start with this one, Brennan? I'm gonna I'm gonna toss it off to you first. Just just gush about one or both of these songs. <laughs> I'm gonna start off with the song that I've been an absolute simp for ever since the first time I heard it, and that is "Death of the Robot with Human Hair." Um, oh, yeah. This song has everything. Um, in the original version, version, um, not the Accepted Speech 2.0 edition. You know, it's starting off with like the Tillian like singing in the beginning with like just a simple guitar intro, um, absolutely electric. And then like the part that he goes into after that, like just absolutely beautiful. And I love how the song, it, like, transitions into, like, a slowing down, like, a breaking down part. Like, you know, let's wind it down. And then all of a sudden, like, John Mess and the rest of the band just fucking hits you in the mouth. <laughs> it's just pure chaos and craziness. And absolutely epic. And then there's, of course, like, the Will Swan obligatory rap feature. Kind of a rap feature, more of him just, like, shouting random stuff, I guess we're going. Um... <laughs> <laughs> and then it like cycles back like the song is like kind of a soft reset and it like goes out how it came in and it's just in my opinion an absolute work of art on an album that I think is a little bit underappreciated I think acceptance speech is a very underrated part of the Tillian era so I agree I, I think the song is an absolute bop hell yeah Kyle what do you think about death of the robot with human hair agree uh, that's, that's basically what I have for because I, I love this song. Uh, I remember when I first listened to this album, like speaking of like your first lessons of it, I didn't actually love this song at first just because it like did so many things that on this album, there are a lot of songs where it's just like you really get like Keaton, Tillian and like what comes to be like classic Tillian era, era features, especially like in uh, in Robot 4, actually, which we'll talk about later on. Yeah. <laughs> um this song really tries a lot of stuff, really shifts around into different things. And I remember being like, ah, maybe it's a little too much. And on subsequent listens, I was like, no, uh, I love it. <laughs> it's funny, too. I was actually looking back through my notes that when we did our acceptance speech before doing these notes for this. Uh, and I I had like a note from my original listen of the like review. I was like, I don't know if I love this song or if I kind of dislike it for all it's doing. And I just put update. You love it. <laughs> Good, into I'm my glad notes. That you've come around. Um, but no, oh, yeah. I think this song is just super fucking cool. I love, like you were saying, like the fact that they like transition to like a little bit of like a broken down bit and it's just so fucking beautiful. I fucking love it. It's got like a good like swing to it as well. It's just so, mm -mm, I love it. Especially next to like some of those like really heavy Will Swan moments where it's just like really big and shouty, you know, it's such an awesome contrast and throughout it all, it's just like awesome fucking transitions. It's so fucking smooth through all of it. Um, I think the Will Swan bits one of my favorite Will Swan bits like ever to this day. It's still oh, so yeah. like powerful and just all encompassing. I'm just like, yes. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> I think my biggest takeaway from the song and like objectively why I like it is the, the progression of like the hush now, don't you cry bit like throughout the entire song. It like you see it like really transform through like 
the beginning into like the broken down bit and then the ending where it like is like helping it build to the end it then like does the electronic shift and it's now just like it's the the main thing now it's like it's kind of like grown and it's i don't know it's just really cool writing to me it's really good song yeah so, song is good i agree with <laughs> everything that <laughs> both of you said um it's just <laughs> it's incredible ever since the first time i listened to this song and this album like I I had this song on repeat for like months when I first discovered this album. Um, I remember Brennan told me, don't listen to Acceptance Speech because it's bad. <laughs> and then I, I listened I was... to it. And like, this is one of the songs specifically. I was like, are we sure that that's like the correct opinion to have? Because this seems pretty good. Uh, um. <laughs> that, that was that was a mistake in my life. Telling you. <laughs> it, it, it was all because of Jesus H. Macy. But yeah. Uh, totally totally subjective take there folks yeah but i don't know and also the music video for death of the robot is really cool too he gets like the big buff man arms and then fighting shit it's just it's cool um i think i have like four screenshots just from that video for the thumbnails of this one because uh it's it's there's not many music videos to pull from and that one just has a lot of good material um but yeah i mean death of the robot like you guys said it's just it's it's a masterpiece man it really is it's underrated and i think it deserves to be held in high regard but i would say the same thing about the robot with human hair part two and a half also an incredibly good track on one of my favorite underrated dgd albums so brandon i'm gonna kick it back to you Lay it on us. What do you think about this one? So Downtown Battle Mountain 2 is, in my opinion, the most slept on DGD album. Um, Of course, it's when Johnny Craig came back to the band, made an album, probably got kicked out of the band. But there's a lot of excellent tracks on here. And everybody knows about Blue Dream. Everybody knows about the phone call. You know, what color your fucking eyes? Everybody knows that (laughs) shit. All right. And when we did the album review, I was really torn on whether The Robot with Human Hair Part Two and a Half was actually a better song. Um, because I, I think I mean Blue Dream, like it, it's just it's its own unique thing, so it's kind of, uh, kind of in its own realm. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of hard to say anything's better than it, but. I mean, the Robo Human Hair Part Two and a Half is just completely solid. Like the chorus, like like how they do like the chord progression in it, and like how like you know you have Johnny Craig like delivering like the main vocals, and like John Messa kind of stepping in. Because in my opinion, this is one of John Messa's like weaker albums, like performing wise. But for some reason, in the Robot with Human Hair Part Two and a Half, he kind of steps it up. Um, and then of course, like how it like kind of breaks down at the end like not like a traditional like breakdown but like you know the song kind of like slows down a little bit johnny craig kind of like gives you like a little bit more performance you know the instrumentals kind of slow down the tempo slows down and i think the song is a fucking masterpiece like I, uh, it's <laughs> you know putting this up against death the robot with human hair like it, it, this is fucking tough yeah i For think sure. both of these are unfairly underrated tracks like Agreed. by a by a mile so 100 percent agree <laughs> yeah I, this is this is the cream of the crop for the first round in my opinion so very very tough very good song definitely so that's all i'll say about that kyle do you like this song as much as we do uh yeah i really okay. like this track cool. <laughs> um i just i don't come back to this album as much like i don't think it's as underrated i agree that it is underrated like blanket statement but i just i don't come back to it as much because it's not my favorite there's a lot of tracks from it that I like a lot, but it's not like overall as like a DGD album. Do I come back to it as much? Um, but that's just personal. So, uh, but no, I really fucking love this track. It's still one of my favorites off of this album. I, I've come out and said it a lot of times on the, uh, on the podcast that Johnny Craig is probably my least favorite vocalist. And it's just like a personal thing. I just don't love like his voice as much as the other two. Um, but I, <laughs> I, I don't know. I think in, specifically in this track, uh, I actually really like some of the stuff that he does. I don't know if maybe it's like where his voice is sitting for like the main like part of the chorus, but it just it really hits for me. I really like it. Um, however, 
I agree with you, Brennan. This is one of John's weaker albums, in my opinion. I've said it a bunch when we reviewed the album, but I don't know. I just don't. I don't think he sounds that good here. I think it's really crazy to see, especially when we talked about fucking Royal Ocean, like to see where John started. And nowadays it's just like, is that the same guy? It's so cool. Um, But I don't know. I, I really like this track. I think the big thing for me with this is that like, it gives you a lot of the things you look for in DGD with like the really aggressive John mess moments, like really nice transition into uh, Johnny Craig solid tasty uh, like chorus line and stuff and for me in this song the transitions are a tad like unexpected to me but they still fucking nail it every time like you don't always expect them to come back to that main like chorus line at times and they just like and they just swap it back in and you're just like whoa and it's just like it tastes super good i fucking love it so this track is definitely one of my favorites off this album and a super strong contender in this uh in this whole bracket i'm in for it definitely um I mean, I'm mm-hmm. I'm kind of a simp for this album. Uh, I you know I talked very highly of it when we did the album review, and it still stands as one of my favorite DGD albums of all time. I think it's criminally underrated. I don't think there's a bad track on the record at all. Um, and Robot Part Two and a Half is a perfect example of that. I mean, just everything <laughs> you guys said, hitting the nail right on the head. Like it's just they do so many cool things. Johnny Craig. Yeah, I know that Kyle, he's not your favorite uh, vocalist of the DGD, you know, timeline. But I think that this album specifically, I think he was just killing it on every track. This song is no exception. Like, in my opinion, this album is like the peak of Johnny's career. (laughs) Like, he's just, (laughs) he's just killing it. Um, There's just so many good parts about this track, but... I really don't know, like, comparing these two in my mind, it's so hard to pick a superior track because I think they both are perfect in their own ways. It's really hard to, like, match these. I hate that this is, like, a first-round match. Like, I really, I really hate this. Both of these songs deserve to be in the semis. And we have to kill one now, and it feels bad. Uh... I'm going to vote first because (laughs) I think that um, I I think that since there is another song from acceptance speech that is also on this bracket, we deserve to give Johnny Craig a shot at, at going further on in this competition. Everyone complains that we're all the Tillian show. Well, guess what? All of those people who say that, I'm going to vote for uh, part two and a half right now. Because I think that that our, our boy, Johnny Craig, deserves to make it into a semifinal round. Is that a stupid reason? Maybe. But it's a safe reason. So that's why I'm going with it. <laughs> I'll go next. <laughs> yeah, <I'm going laughs> yeah with, I need some I'm, time. I'm going with Death of the Robot. Sorry, I'm kind of putting you in a bad place, Brennan. But uh, I don't hate your reason, Tyler. But I was also leaning towards Death of the Robot. And I was like, you know what? I know Tyler really likes Dante Battle Mountain 2. Maybe he'll like sell me on like why he's going to vote for it. And you gave me just a bad reason. So it was a bad with- reason. I'm not going <laughs> to deny that. I'm not, <laughs> so- I'm not going to say that I, I tried to sway you. Because uh. honestly, I think both these songs deserve a vote. I mean, fair. And I'm, fair. So I'm glad that this is coming down to a tiebreaker. This is However, all I wanted. I just think objectively down, uh, Death of the B- uh, a Robot just takes like a really great song and then also implements like some really cool unique ideas to like transform the track to like another level whereas robot 2.5 is super solid all the way through some of the best johnny craig in my mind super banging with all like just the fluidness of everything but death the robot takes it another level to me just overall creatively and objectively in my mind and and the problem is i agree i just like i don't i don't want to not give <laughs> a vote to to <laughs> the fucking dvm2 song but but brandon you could be the tiebreaker maybe my chaos will 
<laughs> let God <laughs> saw through. Your chaotic reasoning will bring me <laughs> a new thought process here. <laughs> um, man. Look, I, I absolutely love part two and a half. I do. I think arguably it could be the best song on DBM2. And I think DBM2 is heavily underappreciated by the DGD community. Like, like it's one of those things, like, if you know, you know. Like, like the album fucking rips, and people don't give it the respect it deserves. However, Death of the Robot with Human Hair is an absolute fucking masterpiece. Like, how they're able to, like, construct. Like, as you know, we, we always talk about building. We always talk about... You know, how songs can, like, construct, deconstruct, reconstruct, fucking, you know, change, transition, all this crazy shit. Like, the Death of the Robot with Human Hair does all of that. Like, has a really solid opening, you know, builds up to something, deconstructs. All of a sudden, it's fucking John Mess hitting you in the face. Like, and then, like, you know, the Will Swan. Like, it just gives you so much variety and, like, like dynamics of the track. And, I mean... Robot with Human Hair Part Two and a Half, I think is just an excellent, fantastic song. Like I think, you know, it does a ton of stuff in its own right. But Death Row with Human Hair just gives me like a little more range, a little more roller coaster, a little more bang for my buck. So I have to go with Death the Robot with Human Hair. As much as that fucking pains me. Like, th this should not be a first round matchup. This is it unfair. really shouldn't be a first round matchup. But I think that the the song that deserves to move on more is moving on. Uh, you can't deny just the absolute, you know, God tier level writing that is in Death of the Robot <laughs> with Human Hair. And that's why it's moving on. So, sorry, people who want. Uh, variety outside of Tillion to move I mean maybe maybe one of these <laughs> other non Tillion songs will win, maybe but I maybe Kurt Travis uh, <laughs> so uh yeah Death of the Robot is moving on to the semifinals where it will take on Son of Robot in a few weeks but first we got to get through the other side of the bracket starting with next week's matchup Robot Part 4 with Robot Part 3 Wow! Um, yeah, cool. So, if you like this video, make sure you, you like it and you do all the things. Comment below what you think should have won this matchup. Uh, you know, Johnny Craig stands. Rise up. <laughs> Come out in the comments. Roast us. We fully welcome <laughs> it. Uh, and make sure, if you're not subscribed to the Talks A Lot Boys, make sure you go and do that. And you click subscribe and you ring the bell. And then, like, you can get notified when... The, uh, the next episodes of this wonderful series come out. Um, uh, wow. Sorry. We have been the Talks a lot, boys. <laughs> we will talk a whole lot more next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>